Good day everyone, it is CryptoPortfolio.io project and my name is Dan. Today I want to start a series of videos devoted to Ethereum dApps. During the reviews, I will do my best to give you only the essence of the projects with the details that matter. And do not forget that the devil is in the detail. We will start the series with the review of the Melonport protocol. By the way, I really want to make a long-lasting series of videos devoted uh, to reviews of the most interesting and promising projects being built or already operational on the Ethereum blockchain. If you want me to make a review on a certain project, leave me a comment or PM me in Telegram. To be honest, my review is mainly built on the green paper of Melonport team, so if you have already read this material, there is little new information in here. Still, I tried digging and found some interesting details, so even experienced Melonport followers will find something new. As you can see, the presentation is mainly focused on details, because in reality that's the most interesting part of Melonport. Beforehand, I should warn you that some terms could be complicated, and in that case I recommend you to pause the video and use Wikipedia. Let's move on. The core team consists of people familiar with Ethereum ecosystem and hedge fund management. Mona Elisa is a former employee of Goldman Sachs. During the work in Goldman she showed her character when she made profits for the investment bank when everybody else was in deep minus. Since 2014 she devoted her career to blockchain. As far as I understand she was the culprit of the business idea. Reta Trinkler is the head of technical side of the project. Basically, he does the smart contracts part. He is experienced, previously worked with BrainBot Technologies, uh, by the way, which is developing the high speed radar network. George Hallam is the head of business development. His main job is business communication and business as a whole, as far as I understand. The team of advisors is impressive, especially considering that Dr. Gavin Wood, the head of IFCOR, is a contributor to the project. Maybe hedge fund management is not banking, which has money bags exceeding many trillions of dollars. But hedge fund management still accounts for more than 3 trillion USD of assets under management. In comparison, the capitalization of Ethereum with other cryptos is about 23 billion of dollars. That's 0.7% of hedge fund management. Our ecosystem certainly could use some of this money. Generally, in order to compete in the sphere of hedge funds, you need at least $150 million for you to break even in this industry. And our Ethereum ecosystem gives a chance to anybody with some brains and a gray mass. Finally, we have come to the most interesting part of the presentation. What is the main idea of Melonport? The main idea of Melonport is transferring power from the hedge fund managers, where barriers to enter can be compared to the Great Chinese Wall, and giving it back to you, the people. Everybody understands that in order to be successful hedge fund manager, we need a wide range of available assets we could choose from. And Melonport is basing its business idea on the promise that soon all the different assets which exist at the moment in financial world will, in one form or another, appear on Ethereum blockchain. Basically, there is three types of assets on Ethereum right now. Collateralized. This type of assets gains value from collateralization of real-world assets. For example, Digix. It has gold in Singaporean banks. And at any given moment, you can actually buy a token from Digix, which represents gold. Go to Singapore and exchange this token to gold. The Digix token is backed or collateralized by real gold. Second, uncollateralized assets. This type of assets gains value from scarcity of tokens. As an example, I can give you Ether or GNT or ICN or DGD. The third, derivatives. This type of assets gains value from another digital asset. 
As far as I understand, it is already being implemented by consensus. Some time ago I saw a video with the example of CFD by this company. Very impressive. Now we just have to wait until it will properly work, I guess. So the main point here is ability of blockchain to mimic financial instruments, and I think it will come faster than collateralization of real-world assets. Mellonport lists its advantages as transparency, you can actually see the performance of file managers, so you can choose the right one, modularity, there are different modules for portfolio management, we will discuss it later in detail, and uh, lowers costs with decentralization. I like Melonport for having a strict, easy to understand structure when it comes to usage of its decentralized application. Any portfolio consists of modules, the majority of which are optional. Basically, you can create a unique portfolio based on investment preferences. The main part of portfolio construction is the core module. It is a necessary one which connects all the smart contracts together, making all other modules functional. Register module is responsible for registering assets, corresponding price fits, and decentralized exchanges. This module fixates ability of manager to trade only specific assets on chosen exchanges. As you know, wrapped token holders, it's a token of Augur, have to vote and if they don't, they will be penalized for not voting. This problem is solved through usage of functionality module. Price feed module broadcasts price of certain digital assets to the Melonport portfolio. Investors should be interested in having high liquidity exchanges linked to this platform, so the price will not be played with by manager. Exchanges is a module that specifies exchange that will be available for manager to trade on. The important thing here is that only Ethereum-based exchanges will be used in Melonport. Trading module determines trading specific limitations. For example, it can restrict trading of asset if its trade size is bigger than 10% of the volume traded of on this asset. It defends investors from market manipulations by managers. Uh, fees determine how much manager will be paid for his work. That's pretty much it. As you have already understood, all trading and all tradable assets are going to be on Ethereum blockchain. This is a huge advantage for Ethereum because its network in this case will grow much faster. Demand for Ethereum-based trading and fund management will bring absolutely new type of assets to the blockchain. And Dr. Gavin Wood's Polkadot te technology, which is a way of connecting other blockchains to Ethereum through the Gates technology, will be able to attract more interesting digital assets to our network. This way fund managers will be able to diversify even more, having a larger range of options among digital assets. Well, Ethereum already has quite a lot of digital tokens to choose from, and Melonport, in my opinion, will be satisfied in the beginning with the available tokens. But it will be much better to have 100 assets to choose from than 20. The next important part of the Melonport protocol is its usage of decentralized exchanges. This is the real breakthrough. Imagine not having any fees while trading digital assets and it is already a reality for Ethereum users. Ether Delta, Oasis Pro, Ether X, this is just the beginning. We will see more decentralized exchanges then more assets will be available to trade on Ethereum. And I should add that actually I already have experience using decentralized exchanges. I have traded my wraps for Ether on Ether Delta and the experience was great. Maybe it is not that comfortable as Poloniex, but it works and it works now. I am really hyped for the future of Ethereum-based exchanges with that Melonport DAP. Fees in Melonport divided into management and performance fees. Management fee is a fixed percentage of portfolio, while performance fee depends on how successfully trader does his job. 
performance fee is going to be calculated using comparison between growth of the portfolio with, for example, S&P 500. You will be able to invest in any open portfolio through the process of share creation or buying from someone else. As far as I understand, uh, these shares are going to be ERC20 tokens, which can be tradable. Divesting is also easy. You either sell shares to someone else or divest from the portfolio using two options. Either you create another portfolio, transferring ethers, or directly receive ether. There are open and closed-ended portfolios. Open portfolios have no limits on investments, while closed have limits. For example, then certain amount is reached, investors will not have opportunity to inject more cash into the project. Active portfolio management will give ability to trade and be benchmarked to portfolio managers, while passive portfolio management implies long structured portfolio which is not traded every day. Melonport is going to make two crowd sales totaling 1,250,000 Melon tokens. In order to incentivize the team, some tokens will be kept by the core team, about 20% of all tokens. Other 80% is going to be sold. In reality, Melonport has already done one successful ICO, earning about $3 million of ethers. Melon tokens will have inflation, which will help developers with creation of modules. Inflation rate is yet to be announced, but I hope for a very small inflation rate, so that token holders will not see their value erased. Value creation comes from the usage of the network. The more managers and investors, the more dividends will be given to token holders. Let's sum everything up. What are advantages? It is based on Ethereum, the most progressive and successful blockchain. The team is very open and gives many presentations and seems to work hard towards their goal. Also, they have experience in their spheres, which is also important. The idea is great. And as you could see, the Melonport protocol is a comprehensive project with detailed plan to succeed. The sphere they are trying to break in is absolutely huge, having almost $3 trillion in assets under management. One day, I hope, we will observe some of this money transferring to Ethereum. And what are disadvantages? There are alternatives. Look at economy. And also, we could see other competitors sooner or later try to outdo Melonport. It poses some risks. Read post of Vlad Zamfir concerning Ethereum risks. It should make you a little bit sober about the ecosystem. Anything can happen. Finally, with this inflation thing and valuation problem, we may see Melon tokens to be depreciated with time. Do not invest all your money in one project and be responsible. Take care.